Hey everybody, this is Dave Schopius. Uh, now that I've got my second arm mounted uh, on my B9 robot from Lost in Space, I've been working for the last few days, almost a week or more actually, on getting uh, the, uh, the animations going. Um, actually, what I need to do is, is, is get the arms to move out of the torso and then move around and back in safely without destroying themselves. I had it working pretty good on the one uh, arm, but when I got the second one mounted, it, it brought up a whole new list of challenges I had to do and work through um, with scripting and power and all that kind of stuff. So um, I worked through those issues. Um, I had, uh, because of my lack of knowledge of scripting, scripting um, DJ from Easy Robots, the CEO of the, of the company, was kind enough to work with me on working through some of these issues I was having. And bottom line, I think they were just mostly all my issues uh, on how to write everything and time everything. Um, but <clears throat> with uh, without taking too much more time, I'm going to kind of show you what I've done here. It, it, my first and only animation that I did, that I've done so far, is going to be the base of all the other animations to come forward with these arms, uh, moving forward with these arms. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, because, uh, like I said, the arms have got to move out and the script has got to signal the motors for the arms that it's okay to move and safe before they move back in. Or out, or up and down, or whatever. So, but um, let me... Uh, let me pull the power pack because that is the first animation is the famous um, power pack pull from the show Lost in Space when the when the um, robot is going berserk they pull the power pack and he dies or or everything just kind of uh, closes down so take a look I'll do that now and you'll see the arms move out and then drop and everything will go dead here he goes There you go. You saw me slump forward, the arms moved down, everything shut off, and for all intents and purposes, he is de-energized and harmless. So, um, as you noticed, the arms came out, and the thing is, there are, if you saw any of my other videos, the uh, arm carriage and the arms move out on a rail, and that right, that uh, carriage has got all got to be all the way out of the robot's torso before the arms drop or start moving around, or else bad things happen. Uh, they tend to destroy themselves. I've already got some nicks and some scratches from uh, the arms starting to move before they were totally out of the torso, and uh, it's not a pretty sight. So. Thanks to, again, DJ uh, from Easy Robots helping me with uh, the, uh, the scripting and some other issues I was having. <clears throat> I've got it all smoothed out so that the um, rail system is all the way out of the torso before the arms start moving. So, <clears throat> it's, uh, it's, it's, again, it was very important. So now, getting back into the torso is another feat of magic that I had to work through. Again, with the help of uh, Easy Robot. Um, and if you remember from the show, they put the power pack in. He stands up, comes to life, and everybody, everything comes back to normal. Where am I? Who oh, turned out the lights? Now I remember. Which way did they go? <clears throat> and there you go. Um... It's, uh, it's as simple as that. <laughs> Not really. Um, but anyway, it turned out pretty good. Um, again, the arms had to come all the way up before they were able to come in because if they start sucking in while the arms are down, you can only imagine what would happen if they start ripping and tearing. and It's not a, it's not a pretty safe. So, again, I'll do it quicker this time. And when the arms get about halfway down, <clears throat> I release the servos in the arms. You got, we have one DC motor running the elbow, 
And you can look at my other uh, YouTube videos. One DC motor on the elbow, a, another wrist uh, servo running the up and down, plus a back and forth servo in the claws. So the back and forth servo will go like that. <clears throat> and the claws are of course up and down. But when they get about three quarters of the way down, I release all those servos and that gives it a better appearance of, of just kind of hanging and drooping low and free. Put the power pack back in. Where am I? Who turned out the lights? Now I remember. Which way did they go? I'm just thrilled. And like I said, the uh, fact that I got it scripted where I can get these arms out of the, out of the torso before they start moving is huge. Uh, that's the base of all the rest of the animations to come. That big guy? Yep, you got it. So um, let's do it one more time just to have fun, okay? What do you say? No? Okay, the heck with you. Should I leave you like that? Nah, you're my buddy. I'll bring you back. Where am I? Who turned out the lights? It was me. Now I remember. <laughs> Which way did they go? Okay. That's it. Um, thanks for watching and, and thank you DJ for helping me out with this. Bye bye.